Hi, I'm Russell. Uh, so Julio, Malavota, and I would like to show you how to win an argument in one sentence. Oh, no, sorry. So we will show you a new snark uh, in a set of three setting, also known as stark, uh, from some hidden order groups. So, oops. Yeah, so uh, I'm sure I don't need to remind you how uh, snark does, uh, what snark does, but let me uh, show you anyway via some cartoons. So here's our scenario. We have uh, Mr. Poover, the penguin, and uh, doubtful verifier, the polar bear. So contrary to common belief, uh, penguins come from the South Pole, actually, and polar bears come from the North Pole, so they have, should never have uh, met each other, right? So it's, if, if some system work, it better be set up free. So now doubtful verifier has some uh, difficult question. It says, What's the meaning of life? Okay, so Mr. Poover is smart, and but so of course he knows the answer, but he's also cool, a cool guy, so he doesn't want to say much. And so he prepared this for the uh, verifier. It is so precise, so exquisite, that the uh, doubtful verifier can't even comprehend the wisdom. So, so in this work, we will construct a fish, or sorry, a proof uh, with only uh, with size only two group elements long plus a lambda B string, where lambda is a, a security parameter. Okay, so how do we do this? Now, starting point is the CS proof from Macaulay, which basically, in which the prover basically commits to a, or encode this witness in a PCP string, and then uh, commits to this PCP string via a Merkle tree, and then open to some random positions, which are chosen by a random oracle. And this approach gives you uh, such a proof size. Okay, so. In order to reduce this all the way down to constant, we, we have two ideas. So the first idea is to replace the Merkle tree with a vector commitment, which allows us to open to individual positions with one good element. Then the resulting proof has this proof size, so, which is not very good because it still has uh, lambda group elements. So here comes the second idea. We will generalize the vector commitment into something we call sub-vector commitment. So what it does is basically to open to a bunch of positions with still just one group element. And this allows us to uh, reduce the proof size all the way to just two group elements from uh, plus lambda bits. So the construction is actually really quite simple, which is simple enough to fit into a slide. And Actually, we also get a result in a, uh, in a setting we've set up. Uh, in this setting, we can instantiate our uh, construction from just strong RSA. But in the without setup setting, we need to rely on uh, adaptive root assumption, which is a rather new assumption in class groups of uh, some uh, imaginary quadratic order. So this assumption in this group is recently used to uh, construct verifiable delay function or, or time lock puzzles. So with this, okay, so why is it interesting? Because um, uh, blockchain. So, uh, <laughs> okay, but, uh, so of course for, for blockchain, uh, it's very important to have a short proof size, which is great because we just have two good elements. Uh, the verify efficiency is also great. We just need one group exponentiation plus some uh, uh, order of lambda uh, quite efficient operations. Okay, so with this, I would like to conclude the talk, and the paper is actually online, and Julio here is in the job market, so thank you. <laughs>